Welcome to a new episode of Architecture Time. My name is Brenda Lucierdes Clark and I'm founder of Lockhart, the local art portfolio, where we represent 40 Latin American artists, which 30 are from Peru. Today's episode, I want to make a point and a statement about the importance of the art in the architecture and interior design field. As you've seen in previous episodes, architect and interior designers have shared about their different projects and how the arts has been an essential part of it all. Will you join me? So far, we've had as special guests and allies, architect and interior designers who have shared about the importance of the art as an essence in their different projects. Maybe interior design fairs or a personal project. You can see how the art is an essential part of it all. Today's episode, I want to share the highlights of our previous episodes and remind all of our viewers the importance of the arts in this field. Let's start with Louis Pisconte from Radical Radical Project. He, one of the different highlights that he shares is about the furniture line developed based in electric prisms a painting done by Sonia Delaunay on 1914. Los espacios, al igual que las piezas de arte, tienen mucho en común y lo principal es que ambos comunican. Son el resultado de una o varias ideas con el fin de expresar emociones y sensaciones y crear una experiencia al espectador. Bueno, dicho esto, podríamos ir un poquito más a detalle y hablar de los muebles y el arte, que siempre han estado conectados. El primer ejemplo es el de los muebles inspirados en el trabajo de artistas, como es el caso de Maison Dada, que es un estudio francés que en el 2017 creó una serie de muebles inspirados en el cuadro prismas eléctricos de Sonia Delone. Vemos cómo el tablero presenta una diagramación de círculos y una segmentación de colores que tiene también el cuadro. Creemos que a Sonia le hubiera encantado el trabajo de Mesón Dada porque ella creía muchísimo en la simultaneidad de las artes y que esto sea una manifestación que esté en, todo, en todos los campos de la vida. El segundo ejemplo es el de artistas que crean su propio mobiliario, como es el caso de Salvador Dalí, que en los 30 creó Leda, una silla muy daliliana. Está hecha en latón macizo y consta de tres patas, que van formando extremidades alargadas, que se unen entre sí, que dan la sensación de que se derriten. Es muy a su estilo. Bueno, por su peso elevado, muchos la consideran una escultura más que una silla, porque pierde funcionalidad y practicidad. Pero no consideramos que sea correcto categorizar las cosas de manera absoluta y definir qué está permitido y no dentro del diseño de interiores. Es algo muy debatible y es una pelea constante entre los diseñadores y los mismos artistas. Bueno, lo importante de esta silla es que tiene tacos. La silla tiene tacos. Eso la hace un, una pieza excepcional. Art involving nature can be done simply to display the beauty of the natural world around us, to make scientific observations in an environment or to open our minds to philosophical ideas about our own connection to nature and beyond. In the following video, architect Enrique Leguía has mastered the entire concept in the Apu, a one-of-a-kind mountain located in Pachacamac, Lima, Peru. A citadel with its own water and energy sources, full in-house recycling and waste management, with a mission to promote nature, clean energy, to be completely independent from the grid, a community which main values are great respect for the earth, for nature, an example of how a new form of organizational cell can improve living con conditions and reformulate land use in the world. An experiment to create a society constructed on a common goal, back to simplicity and common sense. The next example will be Porfirio Castro's explaining the process of customizing art pieces based in the concept and previous work that he has done with Emilio Longhi 
and Sandra Cáceres Simons. Sandra, uh, it was the first time I, I, I was going to, to her, her space and it was beautiful. She showed me all of her techniques. She showed me prior work that she had done. And um, so we agreed into, she read me perfectly what I wanted. I wanted something 3D. I wanted, I can give the artist my idea, but it's definitely, definitely the artist's job to create whatever they feel like creating, you know? So she started talking about, I remember about the earth and how the earth had, um, had all these, um, the feelings of the earth and, and, and how that would represent into different um, elements, um, curvy elements that could represent how, um, what the earth really looked like and, the, and nature. Finally, but not least, Ignacio Martinez, Argentinian interior designer, explains how to show the personality of a client through different artwork presented in this case in Casa Cor 2019. For the modern side of the, of the space was Paticas, Paticas, uh, Jenkins Gibson's really large, bold, iconic pieces, um, really colorful, so that really caught people's attention. It was also very interesting. And to tell more about the story, we contact Emilio Longhi, who created this amazing iron fox. Well, actually it was made out of bronze, um, and it's a fox that kind of resembled taxidermy because I didn't want to have any dead animals in my space, of course. Uh, but I wanted to tell the story of a hunting lodge for this English gentleman who lives in a modern house or a modern take of uh, the British house. Um, we also incorporated from Emilio a very interesting skull uh, that's kind of Shakespearean. So, as you can see, we told a very complex story because we have from one side uh, modern pieces, but others uh, more traditional. So I wanted to recreate this conflict, this inner conflict that the client has between what is expected from him and what he actually wants to do. So he's kind of a rebel. As you've witnessed, art is no decor piece, but the main part of it all. Whether if it's in a nature-based project, commercial, residential, or maybe a participation in a fair. I really hope that you enjoy this and that I made myself clear in the different highlights that I wanted to share today. Have a lovely one.